Within the four Gospels, there are over 50 accounts of Christ confronting demonic forces. These are the record of Christ's encounters with demons and the spiritual forces of evil opposed to God. As recorded in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, presented here simply in canonical order. Christ's authority over the demonic, as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, if you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against the stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these things I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. And Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and minister to him. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all the sick, those who were afflicted with various diseases and pains, demoniacs, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name cast out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Leave me, you who practice lawlessness. When evening came, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirits with a word, and he healed all who were sick. And when he came to the other side, into the country of the Gadarenes, two demon-possessed men confronted him as they were coming out of the tombs. They were so extremely violent that no one could pass by that way. And they cried out, saying, What business do you have with us, son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now there was a herd of many pigs feeding at a distance from them, and the demons begged him, saying, If you are going to cast us out, send us into the herd of pigs. And he said to them, Go! And they came out and went into the pigs, and behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned in the waters. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a man, mute and demon-possessed. And when the demon was cast out, the mute spoke, and the multitude marvelled, saying, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He casts out demons by the ruler of demons. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples, and gave them authority over unclean spirits, to cast them out and to heal every kind of disease and every kind of sickness.
As you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Then one was brought to him who was demon-possessed, blind and mute. And he healed him, so that the blind and mute man both spoke and saw. And the multitudes were amazed and said, Could this be the son of David? Now when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out demons except by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. If Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Now when an unclean spirit comes out of a person, it passes through waterless places seeking rest, but does not find it. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds it unoccupied, swept, and put in order. Then it goes and brings along with it seven other spirits more wicked than itself, and they come in and live there, and the last condition of that person becomes worse than the first. That is the way it will also be with this evil generation. And he said, the one who sows the good seed is the Son of Man, and the field is the world. And as for the good seed, these are the children of the kingdom, and the weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so it will be at the end of the age. Just then a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting at us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised on the third day. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an offence to me, for you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. And when they had come to the multitude, a man came to him, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers severely, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, 
O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. For surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Christ's authority over the demonic, as recorded in the Gospel of Mark. He was in the wilderness for forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and angels ministered to him. Just then there was a man in their synagogue with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet, and come out of him. And the unclean spirit threw him into a convulsion, and crying out with a loud voice, came out of him. All the people were amazed, saying among themselves, what is this? A new teaching? And with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. That evening, after the sun had set, they brought to him all who were sick and demon-possessed. The whole city was gathered at the door. And he healed many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons but he did not allow the demons to speak, because they knew who he was. And he went throughout all of Galilee, proclaiming in the synagogues and casting out demons. Whenever the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him, and shouted, You are the Son of God. But he sternly ordered them not to make him known. He went up to the mountain, and called to him those whom he wanted, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, to be with him, and to be sent out to proclaim the message, and to have authority to cast out demons. The scribes who came down from Jerusalem were saying, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and he cast out demons by the ruler of demons. And so he called them to himself, and began speaking to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but he is finished. But no one can enter the strong man's house and plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man, and then he will plunder his house. Truly I say to you, all sins will be forgiven the sons and daughters of men and whatever blasphemies they commit. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. Because they were saying, he has an unclean spirit. The sower sows the word, and these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown. When they hear, 
Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. And when he had come out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no one could bind him, not even with chains, because he had often been bound with shackles and chains. And the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles broken in pieces. Neither could anyone tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying out, and cutting himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshipped him. And he cried out with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I implore you by God that you do not torment me. For he said to him, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. Then he asked him, What is your name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. And he also begged him earnestly that he would not send him out of the country. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there near the mountains. So all the demons begged him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter them. And at once Jesus gave them permission. Then the unclean spirits went out and entered the swine. There were about two thousand and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the sea, and drowned in the sea. And he called the twelve to himself, and began to send them out two by two, and gave them power over unclean spirits. They cast out many demons, and anointed with oil many who were sick, and healed them. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him, and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Syrophoenician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying on the bed, and the demon gone. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He spoke this word openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, but when he had turned around and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. And one person from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I brought you my son, because he has a spirit that makes him unable to speak, and whenever it seizes him, it slams him to the ground, and he foams at the mouth, and grinds his teeth, and becomes stiff. And I told your disciples, so that they would cast it out, but they could not do it. And he answered them and said, O oh, unbelieving generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. When he saw him, the spirit immediately threw him into convulsions, and falling to the ground, he began rolling around and foaming at the mouth. And he asked his father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. It has often thrown him both into the fire and into the water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. 
But Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible for the one who believes. Immediately the boy's father cried out and said, I do believe, help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that a crowd was rapidly gathering, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and do not enter him again. And after crying out and throwing him into terrible convulsions, it came out. And the boy became so much like a corpse that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. Now John answered him, saying, Teacher, we saw someone who does not follow us casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him, because he does not follow us. But Jesus said, Do not forbid him, for no one who works a miracle in my name can soon afterwards speak evil of me. For he who is not against us is on our side. All these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. Christ's authority over the demonic, as recorded in the Gospel of Luke. Now Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness for forty days, being tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they had ended, he was hungry. And the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. And Jesus answered him, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone. And he led him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, I will give you all this domain and its glory, for it has been handed over to me, and I give it to whomever I want. Therefore, if you worship before me, it shall all be yours. Jesus replied to him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And he brought him into Jerusalem and had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will give his angels orders concerning you to protect you and on their hands they will lift you up, so that you do not strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered and said to him, It has been stated, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And so when the devil had finished every temptation, he left him until an opportune time. Now in the synagogue there was a man who had a spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet, and come out of him. And when the demon had thrown him in their midst, it came out of him, and did not hurt him. Then they were all amazed, and spoke among themselves, saying, What a word this is, for with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And demons also came out of many, crying out and saying, You are the Christ, the Son of God. And he, rebuking them, did not allow them to speak, for they knew that he was the Christ. And he came down with them, and stood on a level place with a crowd of his disciples, and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem, and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, who came to hear him and be healed of their diseases, 
as well as those who were tormented with unclean spirits, and they were healed. When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? And that very hour he cured many of infirmities, afflictions, and evil spirits, and to many blind he gave sight. Now this is the parable. The seed is the word of God. And those beside the road are the ones who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their heart, so that they will not believe and be saved. And when he stepped out on the land, there met him a certain man from the city who had demons for a long time, and he wore no clothes, nor did he live in a house, but in the tombs. And when he saw Jesus, he cried out, fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man, for it had often seized him, and he was kept under guard, bound with chains and shackles, and he broke the bonds, and was driven by the demon into the wilderness. Jesus asked him, saying, What is your name? And he said, Legion, because many demons had entered him. And they begged him that he would not command them to go out into the abyss. Now a herd of many swine was feeding there on the mountain, so they begged him that he would permit them to enter them, and he permitted them. Then the demons went out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the lake and drowned. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. Suddenly a man from the multitude cried out, saying, Teacher, I implore you, look at my son, for he is my only child. And behold, a spirit seizes him, and he suddenly cries out. It convulses him so that he foams at the mouth, and it departs from him with great difficulty, bruising him. So I implored your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. And as he was still coming, the demon threw him down and convulsed him. Then Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the child, and gave him back to his father. Now John answered and said, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him, because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not forbid him, for he who is not against us is on our side. Now the seventy-two returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I watch Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Behold, I have given you authority to walk on snakes and scorpions, and authority over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will injure you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. And he was casting out a mute demon. And when the demon had gone out, the man who was previously unable to speak talked. And the crowds were amazed. But some of them said, 
he casts out the demons by Beelzebul, the ruler of the demons. Others, to test him, were demanding of him a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts, and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and a house divided against itself falls. And if Satan also has been divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you claim that I cast out the demons by Beelzebul. Yet if by Beelzebul I cast out the demons, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if I cast out the demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own house, his possessions are secure. But when someone stronger than he attacks him and overpowers him, that man takes away his armour on which he had relied and distributes his plunder. The one who is not with me is against me, and the one who does not gather with me scatters. When the unclean spirit comes out of a person, it passes through waterless places seeking rest, and not finding any, it then says, I will return to my house from which I came, and when it comes, it finds it swept and put in order. And then it goes and brings along seven other spirits, more evil than itself, and they come in and live there, and the last condition of that person becomes worse than the first. And behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and was bent over, and could in no way raise herself up. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him, and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath. And he said to the crowd, There are six days on which men ought to work. Therefore come and be healed on them, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Hypocrite! Does not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or donkey from the stall, and lead it away to water it? So ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath? And when he said all these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the multitude rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. On that very day, some Pharisees came, saying to him, Get out and depart from here, for Herod wants to kill you. And he said to them, Go tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow, and on the third day I shall be perfected. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you, that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brothers. Christ's authority over the demonic as recorded in the Gospel of John. Why do you not understand what I am saying? It is because you cannot listen to my word. You are of your father the devil, and you want to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. Whenever he tells a lie, he speaks from his own nature, because he is a liar and the father of lies. Then the Jews answered and said to him, 
Do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honour my father, and you dishonour me. Again, the Jews were divided because of these words. Many of them were saying, He has a demon and is out of his mind. Why listen to him? Others were saying, These are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it, and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming, and he has no power over me. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away, for if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin, because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father and you see me no more. Of judgment, because the ruler of this world is condemned. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them in your name that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them was lost, except the one destined to be lost, so that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and I speak these things in the world, so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. He cancelled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Take heart, I have overcome the world.
they have no authority over you anymore.